So when I receive new products to test, I will often not make my mind up whether I like it or not until I've actually tested it. Well, in this video, we're gonna show you two new products that without even ever trying, I honestly believe is gonna revolutionize putting. That sounds bold, doesn't it? And it's a combination of golf ball and putters. Let me grab these out. I honestly think it's gonna make a massive difference. The golf ball you might have seen last year, Callaway introduced this little system, triple track. Three lines on the golf ball, I did a video on it. I think it's got positives and I do think it's got negatives. But it, to be fair, it's gone down really well as a way of helping you align your ball on the putting green to hold more putts. And for me as a golf coach, that makes sense to a lot of, golf, a lot of golfers that I've coached in the past struggle to line the golf ball up. So that's one element of it. Callaway have blended it with something new. And I honestly think this could be a game changer. It's these. Now these are putters, and you might recognize from the head cover what they're gonna have. These are putters, and when I say I've never tested it, literally they're still in the wrapper. Ugh. This is the, which one's this one called? This is the Marksman, which isn't my favorite of the three models, but look at that on top. Triple track on a putter. Now these putters, this one costs 239 pounds, but look at that. Now the other two models I've got are models we've seen before. The iconic two ball, but check this out, like you've never seen it before. How good does that look? Think about, I'm gonna show you in a minute, think about that with the golf ball. The two ball is 269, as is the Odyssey Spider, <laughs> or should we say the Odyssey number 10, which you might have seen a video of me do recently. I actually like this putter. I think it's a good looking putter, obviously taking inspiration from the tailor-made spider. But now, tell me that doesn't look good. Tell me that with the triple track is not going to be a game changer. 269 pound and I go with the number 10. So as you can imagine, putting is all about line and pace. And if you can improve one element of it, the other element becomes a little bit easier. If you can improve a line, then starting to get pace control is easier. Now, again, Odyssey have brought in the Stroke Lab shafts in these putters to help with that balance of the putter. It makes it easier to put with and therefore give you better distance control. And now they're blending it with this. Right, I'm gonna go to this middle flag here. As you know, on a putting green, you can mark your ball, you can move it around. And a lot of golfers do use either the logo on the golf ball or maybe draw a black line on the golf ball or whatever as an alignment tool well this technology the triple track was actually made by a guy and his buddies over in america he started drawing lines on the golf ball to give him some way of indicating it was his golf ball that he played with but what he soon realized when he put in three lines on a golf ball which was hard to do as he mentioned he started to hold more putts Obviously Callaway kind of cottoned onto this and bought the patent or whatever, obviously, so they can bring it on all of this stuff now. So as I line this up, as I stand behind the ball, already I know that is aiming absolutely bob on. Just have a quick look down that line. The red line and the blue lines, it's pretty straight, but are aiming dead straight. This is where for me, it's gonna get really, really good with putting. As I bring that, putter now to the golf ball and getting close to that that is incredible follow the lines through up to the hole that is incredible it gives me huge levels of confidence that i know my ball is aiming correctly and if i can use that triple track on the golf club now on the putter and as long as i hit that down the line You should have more of a chance of going in. I'm not saying it's going to improve the world. I didn't hit that the greatest putt I've ever hit in my life, but it gave me confidence straight away. It's the first time I've ever tried this actually. <laughs> Let me go again. So lining it up, this time it's just off the left edge. I'm going to line that line up just down that left hand side, line the triple track up. It's so unbelievably easy to line up. 
if your club face, and coming tight to see this, if your club face is aiming incorrectly, if it's closed, the lines just do not match up. If it's open, the lines do not match up. Come have a look from my view there. Check that out. It's unbelievable. If the lines aren't matched up, it's just not going to work. You've got to get it, Bob on. It's such a confident boosting tool. Now, hopefully I've lined that. I've read it correctly this time. Hey, presto. Research has been shown that triple track improves directional aim by about 11%. Which is a lot. So after testing triple track with triple track ball, there's two things I've noticed. Number one, it definitely gives you confidence. When you've lined the ball up, and then you've lined the putter up with the ball, you stand over and you're like, you know what, this is aiming where I'm expecting it to aim. It's where I'm expecting it to go. That's a great positive. Number two, makes you question a little bit about where your club face is pointing at the very start of your stroke before you've even hit the shot. Now that can be a positive because it can concentrate your mind to make sure you're aiming correctly. It can sometimes potentially be a negative because you end up standing over the ball kind of fiddling with the club face a little bit too much. I have noticed this is definitely easy to line up, but what it's forcing me to do is end up forgetting about pace. Do not forget about pace when putting. Lining up is one thing, yes, but you've got to get it to the hole, otherwise the putts will not go in. I'll come on to a few more negatives soon. But before that, I'm gonna take my putter and the triple track head to head. I'm gonna use a normal Pro V1 with my putter and use the line on the ball as normal. I'm gonna use the triple track ball with the triple track putter. We're gonna play four holes, see which shoots the best score. And I'll go alternate, who, which one starts the hole so it's nice and fair. Right, I'll go triple track first. Right, great start. <laughs> okay, last hole, currently triple track has a one shot advantage, last hole. This has probably got the most break in this. So I'm gonna keep this out to the right hand side. Oh, that was its chance. Okay, triple track. Well, there you have it. <laughs> triple track, won by two shots. Now to give you my feedback straight from the off, and this is the negative, the golf ball, the Callaway golf ball, isn't, in my opinion, a great feeling golf ball. For me, I used the Pro V1 on the other one, it felt so much better. And that's the only problem with triple track, because obviously Callaway, Odyssey, whoever own it now, is it's gonna be limited to that golf ball. It's a shame it can't be transferred onto a Pro V1, because I think feel-wise it will be better. On that note, and I mentioned it heavily, in the original review I did of this golf ball. I think it's got so much benefit. Off a tee, being able to line it up, even as a training aid, being able to hit on the inside. The biggest downside for me, let's say I've hit a shot and it's just off the green and I've got a chip and those triple tracks are not lined up the direction I want it going. I can't now move the ball and those lines really play with my head when they don't land correctly. There's another big point as well. A lot of golfers have imperfections in their putting strokes, as probably most of us do, I even do. And a lot of golfers 
will start with their conventional putter, let's say two degrees closed, aiming to the left. And in their stroke, they'll learn and they've taught themselves over time to open it by two degrees so that actually when they hit the ball, it is straight. The challenge with triple track is that if that same golfer starts with the face square, aiming correctly, their tendency might still be to open the face and then they'll start missing shots more to the right. I think it's got a lot of very strong characteristics that will help golfers. I actually think it'll help higher handicap golfers much more because I honestly think a lot of the time they aim incorrectly because you know there's so much slope and a lot of higher handicappers will don't give enough break. Maybe with triple track and the putter, it'll give you some direction. For me, before this review I mentioned, this could be game changing and I genuinely think it could be. It's not perfect. There are a few things that would be an absolute ideal scenario, which would be like, say, triple track on different balls, etc. Guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned, lots more to come. That's my review of the brand new triple track ball and putter combination. We'll see you next time. Hey Siri, how do I put a triple track on a Titleist Pro V1? Okay, I found this on the web for how do I put a triple track on a Pro V1. Check it out. Interesting.